So I just saw this crazy video of folding houses being sold by Amazon. Now this is super interesting and I saw this down in Australia of all places where they were talking about, we're gonna do this, we're gonna start selling these houses. They're gonna do that to try to help with the housing crisis. Down in Australia currently, there is a very, very low level of rental vacancies. So we're not talking 10% of rental vacancies. We're not talking 1% of rental vacancies. We're talking a 10th of 1%, so 0.1% rental vacancies, which sounds like there's an actual problem here where you have these rents going up by pretty large numbers. I know my rent went up 10% in a year. Now, mortgages didn't go up 10%, but it's an interesting one because with record immigration happening in Australia, you have hundreds of thousands of immigrants coming in. It's just pumping property prices up. And I might put a video out about this. I have some pretty strong views when it comes to property, having lived in the US as well in Australia. Do you want to get a foldable house? Should these be the real things that people should be buying? Overall, I would say when it comes to Australian housing standards, they're definitely substandard compared to where I'm from in the US, where it actually gets cold. The housing industry is quite fascinating to me in Australia because it's incredibly expensive to purchase property, but the quality of the house is usually not very great. So maybe this thing from Amazon might actually help that problem if you have better quality control and better materials. What do you think? Do you think Australia's gonna do this? Or do you think it's going to be blocked because it doesn't meet some arbitrary standard that they made up to block it? Uh, I could see that going either way. I also don't really want to see any more of the stories that I just saw of some student that wants to come here and he's, living in a garden shed. That's not great. A garden shed? No housing crisis to see here. What do you think is going to happen to this and where do you think this is all going to end? I don't think it's going to end well. I also know that almost everyone that's in politics in Australia has investment properties because the entire system incentivizes doing that. Over building businesses and being innovative. Play Monopoly instead. That's the Australian way.